Thank you, Kate. Also new at six, federal prosecutors have announced child pornography charges against a Central Falls man. The U.S. Attorney's Office says 38-year-old Jose Cortez is accused of taking sexually explicit pictures of a toddler. Prosecutors say Central Falls police also discovered more than 1,000 images and videos of child pornography on Cortez's electronic devices. A judge ordered Cortez detained following his appearance in federal court yesterday. Tonight, Warwick City officials say a miscommunication led to crews clearing dozens of trees from a piece of land. Turns out they weren't supposed to cut down any of them. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin talked to unhappy neighbors and asked city officials what led to this mix up. He tells us what he's learned from Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Neighbors say before this all happened, this area was full of 43 trees. Now it's an open lot with a bunch of tree stumps. The sewer authority says work was supposed to be done here, but that it was not supposed to involve any tree removal. A walk outside their Warwick homes now comes with a different view for Tom Wisniewski and Maury Ryan. They used to be greeted with a lot full of trees, much taller than their houses, but now that lot is practically empty. That view is gone. Instead, it now includes an area of land with tree stump after tree stump. Stump. Some of the trees still standing still have orange ribbons on them. This was a very secluded, private, quiet cul-de-sac uh, before this happened. The Warwick Sewer Authority is apologizing and taking responsibility for what it's calling a miscommunication. The land was going to be used as a staging area for equipment associated with Phase 3 of the Governor Francis Farm Sewers Project. According to Executive Director Janine Burke-Wells, the contractor brought in a subcontractor that took the trees down. She says the expectation was that there would only be tree trimming. We're going to have to have uh, the policy in place going forward regarding trees and uh, approvals for tree cutting, uh, permits for tree cutting. She added she does not expect the sewer authority to see the bill for the tree removal. The trees that had been there were likely decades old. Those can't be replaced overnight, but restoration talks are in progress. It was an unfortunate mistake and we're just going to have to make it right. It's got to be restored and we've got to be satisfied with the restoration. And the neighbors also tell me that they want this to be a collaborative process that they want a say in what happens next with this land. In Warwick, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.